Welcome back to my channel, y'all. And today, we are going to be doing the best and easiest homemade enchilada sauce. And y'all, this is a basic recipe, but, get, but you know what? It's not basic. It is amazing, y'all. Full of different spices and flavors. And you know what else? It freezes beautifully, okay? Let's just get into it. So I have a couple of cans of tomato sauce, onion powder, garlic powder, some oregano, cumin of course, and then this the chili powder. This gap part, I've used it in other recipes, y'all, so good. Some salt, Spanish paprika, but you can use regular. Some fresh ground pepper, and then I have a couple of bouillon cubes that I have uh, in some hot water, and then a couple of tablespoons of flour for thickening. So I'm just gonna add that in, and I'm gonna actually toast the flour until it starts to brown, and then I am just gonna slowly add in that broth just to create a good roux. So, stir this up. This is constant stir so that all those bits can get uh, dissolved. But while I do that, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And y'all, I appreciate the support. Those who have already subscribed, thank y'all so, so much. And shout out to my fellow creators. So I am just adding in tomato sauce. And again, I am making enough to freeze. I made two um, pans of enchiladas and then I froze the rest. But you guys can adjust this recipe. I'll put in just enough for about a pan and a half, okay? So into this, I'm gonna add that special chili powder. Now you can use regular chili powder, but let me tell y'all, that's the one. And then my Spanish paprika, I'm gonna add that in. And this is something that I picked up at like Ross or something, but I will put the link to that um, girl part in the description box, because that is an absolute must. And look at this, y'all. Look at all this flavor going in. Some garlic powder and onion powder. I mean, when I tell you it is flavor packed, it is so, so delicious. And I'm from Texas, y'all. And this is just the best flavor. This reminds me of home. When you can't get it, you got to make it yourself. And I am showing you how, honey. Y'all do this and your family is going to go gaga over this. And look at how rich that got immediately so good and again just stir that up until all of those flavors dissolve and listen your enchiladas are going to be so amazing you can use it in other recipes as well and i will post a link to that also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that when i post a new video you'll be the first to know also don't forget to hit subscribe and like and remember new recipes every monday and wednesday and friday and for those who are new to my channel Hmm, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you next time in my new video. Bye, y'all.